morning. So on the way to IKEA, uh, we literally just missed the fastest way to get there. Um, we need to get. I need to get a bookshelf. Um, since I started a book challenge, it's at week eight now. Coming to week eight, I just got so many books laying around in my bedroom. So going to IKEA, look for a nice bookshelf, and then hopefully something else too, and then get that. Is it dollar? Hot dog or something? I need to get that too. Wait, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Cool. All right, fine, never here. So today, I'm looking for this. A bookshelf, Fin, Finby, Finby. Some Swedish name. All right, let's go away. Finby, got him. I think this should be big enough for So I'm getting 52 books a year. Yeah, 52 books, so. Shit for it. Next year I'll get another Fimby. Like stack him up to next to it or something. Alright, what do I do now? Taking photos or something? Because we got to collect the Fimby, so. Fimby. Done. Cool. Alright, let's get Fimby. This is so cool. He won't fit in my bedroom, but maybe he does. So cool. Now, if you been to Japan, traditional Japanese school, it's like an uwabaki. This is where you put your uwabaki stuff. Yep. Japanese school shoe shoe box. Uwabaki shoe box. Like this is it. I can't like. It. This is like my dream. Kids' bedroom when I was a kid. Bunk bed, a desk area or something. Like this is the next level. I used to ask my mom, "Hey, mom, you know, can I have a bedroom looking like this?" Never happened. Never happened. But it's kind of cool, but my kids gonna have this one there, hopefully. I'm serious. If that was a moth, I would get it. Big one. But people know that I hate moth. But I kind of like it for some reason. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh, gosh, I hate it. Funny. Oh, Fimby. I found a Fimby. Fimby? Fuck, hopefully it fits in my car, right? Then it's a bit long. Yeah, my car's not too practical, so. Oh, Fimby behave. Alright, let's get a hot dog. Most. Like, it's space. I'm practical car in the world. Fuck, he's long. <laughs> it's too long. Right. I need to move my guest in. Like, I can't put my bird. <laughs> Fimb is in there. Um, I just realized it's week eight with my book challenge. I actually need another book. So on the way to Malkovat, get some new book, go home and then put him up. Should be good. Right, let's get out of here. Got a book again. So, week eight. I kind of read this book, kind of. Oh, this is for Jab 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 Hook from Gary V. That should be next week. And then I got another one. Happy Money from Ken Honda. That's going to be week nine. Should be good. 
added to my collection actually. For what's his name? What's his name again? Bimby. That's it for Bimby. <laughs> Let's go. Home. Now, when I was hammering this thing, I kind of realized that there's a saying in Japan. Now, if you study Japanese culture or if you're from Japan, you might know, but there's a saying, it's called Deru Kugi wa Utareru, which means if you are the nail that sticks out from the rest of the crowd, you get hammered. Now, uh, from my point of view, that's kind of a bit stupid, um, but don't get me wrong, if you do something wrong, like something about crime or something, and then you like stand out from a crowd or if you do something stupid then if you stick out then yeah fair enough you get hammered but if you just a person have a different point of view or if you want to do something like different and you if you know that you, that's right for you then i think that's perfectly fine um but yeah that's it does that make sense like that makes sense <laughs> struggle putting this screw in this uh, plaster wall but is it plaster wall? Yeah. It's all done. Thanks to Locke for help. But that's it. So hopefully so 52 books per year. Because I'm reading a book a week. So hopefully we fit it. If we can't, I'll go buy another one and connect it. But that's it. <laughs> Finally done. Put him in I get a message on Instagram asking, hey Tag, how to plan your like daily tasks? And then you know I get a couple messages. Um, literally what I do, I like to write it down physically because uh, I can't remember what to do for that day. So I get a whiteboard or a diary, whatever you got, piece of paper, receipt, whatever, and I plan it day before or night before. So the stuff I did today, I planned it last night. Super, super simple. So a series of shit to do for that day. So at the top, I got make a bed. Now I know it sounds stupid, everyone should make a bed, but it's interesting enough smashing out small tasks as soon as you wake up you can do other tasks as well so after my bed i read a book a little bit um the post office pick a lock up and went to ikea bought this bookshelf and then that's it so super super simple and then as soon as you've done it just cross them out so you know yourself that you've done that task uh, that's how you be uh, be productive um but anyway if you watch this video to the end thank you if you can guys please subscribe uh, or follow me on my instagram because i post like a behind the scenes clip and stuff like that but yeah that's it thanks guys ciao